Please. Okay, let's see if it works. Okay, there's no lecture today. All we have to do is go over the homework and we're done. So tomorrow we have a quiz on Expo Log 3. And then the test is on Friday. And then no homework over the three day weekend. Lum, when are you coming back? Monday. Holy cow! Let's go to Japan and ride roller coasters. Why are you going to Japan? Okay, those are the only questions? Okay, after we finish this, I'll tell you which problems are going to become the quiz. You guys are so I feel sorry for you guys. I'm not even giving you the tough problems. Okay, this problem is going to be on tomorrow's quiz. Of course, it's going to be different numbers. Now, if this number and this number were the same, like for example, if that's a 9 or that's a 3, then that, that's just 4 already, right? Yeah. But it's not, so what do you do? So uh, either you change that to a 3 or change that to a 9, then. I think the easiest is change this to a 9. How do you change it to a 9? Well, isn't 3 the same thing as 9 to the 1 half power? Yeah, so then you multiply the exponents. And then when you have a logarithm, what can you do with this number in the front? Re swallow the hairball. <laughs> right? So now you have 9 to the log base 9 of, of iguana. So the answer is just iguana, which is 2. <coughs> so if they're not the same, you've got to make them the same. So that's number 2. And then number six and seven. Oh, nobody has questions on number five. Cause number, how do you see number five? Which one, A or B? Both. Okay, good, because these are not the ones. Good. good choice, Tang. Log base A of three equals R. Every math, every algebra two book has this, these problems in it. Okay, part A. Log base a of 0.12. Now, what you want to do is you want to change it to a fraction so that you can use your properties of logarithm. So what is 0.12? 12 over 100, which can be reduced to 3 over 25. Why do you want to do that? Because that's equal to log base a of 3 minus log base a of 25. And then why do I want to change 25 to 5 squared? Because you can put the power in the front. Careful. That's so dumb to put. And then now you got it. So this is R, and this is 2S, and there's your answer. That was pretty easy. I don't think tomorrow's one is that easy. B. Log base 8 of 27 over 64. Now, this one's a fraction already, so using your properties of logarithms, this is log base 8 of 27 minus log base 8 of 64. What am I going to do with that? Okay, change 27 to 3 cubed, so you can put the 3 in the front, because that's 3 and this is R, so 3R. And you know what the other class said? Yeah, but how do you figure out this one, Mr. Park? It's 2. <laughs> because what does this mean? This means 8 to the what power equals 64? 2. Okay. <laughs> and then number 6, what does that mean? Six? We're not going to do all. Especially if you didn't even try the problems. No, do you want to order it? You're just pulling out a old homework because it's already stapled. No, no, no. Okay, I'm going to tell you right now. Number six, three out of these four problems are on two box quiz. So which ones are we doing? The three that are on the quiz. I'm not going to tell you which three. Okay, first of all, I'm not going to do six A because that was. Ex isn't this almost exactly like the one I did yesterday? Okay. So shall and B is just just nonsense. B, right? Isn't B just nonsense? I think we pulled that out of my Algebra 1 book. 
for kindergarten. <laughs> you want to do B then? Okay, no, let's do B. Natural. This is the just to let you know. This is the only class we're doing this problem. Okay, combine this into one logarithm, natural log, and since it's minus, then you divide, right? Okay, how do I get rid of ln? You e both sides. E to the natural log armadillo is armadillo. E to the one is wombat. And then look, this is just algebra one. Now cross multiply. 2x plus 1 is equal to ex minus 2e. Put all the x's on one side. Which side do you want to put the x's on? Right, left. Wrong, right. So ex minus 2x is equal to 2e plus 1. I notice that a lot of you have trouble, yeah, moving things from one side to the other. No, it, so many people. Factor out the x, and you get e minus 2. So x equals, I'm going to go over here, x equals 2e plus 1 all over e minus 2. Cancel out the 2's, cancel out the e's, so you get plus 1 over minus. Box, that's the answer. It looks like a Japanese character. <laughs> Who takes Japanese? What does that mean? Who takes Japanese here? Morris. 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 That looks like something. That should be something. Okay, whatever. Okay, C. Are we really doing C? I guess so. Okay, look. If this was a 4, then wouldn't this probably be easy? Because you just make a common base, right? But it's not a 4. So that's why you use logarithms. So what you do is you log both sides. Which log should I do? Natural. natural log. You know why? Because tomorrow's quiz is write all your answers using natural log. Now, why do you log both sides? Because you can put the powers in the front. Okay, I'll just do it on the next step, right? That's such a useful thing, people. You can put the power to the front. No, because, no, because now it reduces it to an Algebra 1 equation. Did I just say? And then, okay, just distribute the natural log 2. Put all the x's on one side. Let's put all the x's on the right then. Are you guys tired of doing the same problem? You just did that over there. Factor out the x. You get natural log 3 minus natural log 2. So therefore, x equals natural log 2 over natural log 3 minus natural log 2. If you want to impress me, then you can do this. This is the same thing as natural log 2 over natural log 1.5. Right? Because natural log 3 minus natural log 2 is natural log 3 over 2, which is 1.5. And then you want to impress me even further? This is the same thing as log base 1.5 of 2, using the change of base formula. Okay, never mind. Just box this and you get full credit. Forget trying to impress me. No! No, this is the kind of stuff. You impress me, then I remember and I go, oh, yeah. And then when I write your, your letter of recommendation for college or the junior, you know, since you're juniors now, right, you get a letter from the school. At the end of the year, we, all your junior teachers have to write things about you, and the school compiles them into one letter from the school. Why Because the next year you're going to be senior applying to college. Because when you apply to college, you not only have to have teachers write you a letter of recommendation, but the school sends you a letter. Do we have to send that in? No, they do it. I don't think they let you read it. Is it ever negative? No, because they tell us don't write anything negative. So some of you are just going to get, oh, Callahan. Oh, Callahan's <laughs> attendance was excellent. <laughs> Sincerely, Mr. Park. <laughs> That's positive, right? 
Are we really doing D? 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 Come on. You wish you get this problem tomorrow. Okay, look. If this power is double that power, and that's a constant, this has quadratic form. So you just do U substitution. What should I let U equal to? Yeah, you guys learned last year, whatever's there, whatever's here, that's what you let U equal to, right? So this is U squared minus 5U plus 6 equals 0. And look at factors, look. Look how nice that is. U minus 2, U minus 3. So U equals 2 or 3. But remember, your substitution was E to the X. So how do you solve for X? How do I get rid of the E? You LN both sides. So natural log of e to the gorilla is gorilla, and then natural log two you can't do anything with, and natural log three you can't do anything with. Those are your two answers. Anyway, it's useful to know natural log two is approximately 0.693, right? For those of you in chemistry, or took it last year, you used that for half life and things, right? And natural log three is about 1.099, approximately. I don't know, these numbers come up quite a bit, so you might want to remember them. Just like wait, when you're in elementary school, then your teacher told you radical 2 is about 1.414 and radical 3 is about 1.732, right? Yeah. Like, in, in, like when you're graphing and things like that, that helps. Wait till we get to polar coordinates, people, when you start graphing. Did anybody come from regular? Because then they learn polar, <laughs> but then in honors, they don't learn polar anywhere. It's kind of strange, but whatever. Okay, number seven. Good. Okay, so either number seven or number nine is going to be on tomorrow's quiz, but they're both like the same thing. Okay, number seven. The half-life of a radioactive substance is five hours. Okay, how do I model that as an exponential function? Y equal Y naught. What do I put in the parentheses? Half. Half, and it takes five hours, so T over five. Can everybody write that? How long will it take for 10 grams to decay to 1 gram? Okay, where do I plug in 10? The the why or why not? That's how much you have at the very beginning. And where do I plug in the 1? Over here. So all you have to do is solve this equation for t, and that tells you how long it'll, it'll take for this to happen. And now notice that the variable is in the exponent. That's why we have logarithms. Okay, what should I do? Log both sides. You can log both sides. And in the past, students have log both sides, but if you do log both sides, you can't just put the power in the front. You know why? Because only this is raised to that power. This is not raised to that power. So that's why you should divide by 10 first. But you don't have to. You just make sure you do things correctly. Divide by 10 first. Now you natural log both sides. And why do I natural log both sides? Because you cough it up in the front. Why do I keep doing that when I hate it? <laughs> So t equals, now it's just an algebra 1 equation. Multiply by 5, and then divide by natural log half. And you can leave your answer like this, because you're not going to have any calculator tomorrow or on the test. So you just leave your answer like that. Now, if you look at the answer I wrote on the bottom, though, this is the answer. Why is this the same thing as that? Because you know when you take the AP exam next year? You're going to do all the work. Okay, this is the correct answer, and then you look at the five choices, that's not one of them. You have to know that this is the same thing as that. That's how they test to see if you know your logarithms on the AP exam. They just change the form of the answer. And they do that with trig too, they just use trig identities and you gotta pick out the right answer. How did they get there? What do you mean they mean? Yeah. Well, isn't one tenth the same thing as ten to the negative one? Is it one half the same thing as two to the negative one? What can you do with the power? In the front. In the front. And then they cancel out, and then that's how you get the answer. You have to be able to work with logarithms. And number nine a. Nine is the same. How come nine a? There's no nine a. That's so sad. You can't even write the problems correctly. Okay, number nine is the same thing as seven, except different. Okay, the half-life of carbon, didn't we do carbon dating yesterday? Why equal why not? Okay, so if the half-life is 5,700 years, so what? Huh? One half, 
T over 5700. I think yesterday we used 5750. Was that the confusing part? No, you guys don't even remember the number. Okay, find the age of a sample in which 10% of the radioactive nuclei present, originally present, have, has decayed. Okay, if Y naught is the original amount and 10% of it decays, how much is left? 90% of Y naught, point nine Y naught. Where do I plug that in? You plug it. You plug it in for Y. So. 0.9 Y naught, and the Y naught is cancel out. Was that the problem? Because every year students put 0.1 Y naught. But 1% decays, which means 90% is left. That's a two point error tomorrow. Oh, I just gave away the problem for you. Okay, and again, the variables in the exponent, so you natural log both sides. So natural log of 0.9 is equal to natural log of, I'm going to change the 1 half to 0.5, put the power in the front. And then look how easy this is. T equals 5,700 natural log of 0.9 over natural log of 0.5. Cancel out the LNs, cancel out the points. That 5 cancel that 5, so you get 790. Over. <laughs> so stupid. Stop that. Man. Just leave your answer like that tomorrow. Of course, you punch it in your calculator to get the answer on the bottom. Right? For, for number 10, did you just get one side equal to zero and then plug it into your uh, graph and i equals? <laughs> I thought we cleared this up already. How do you solve any equation? Any equation on your calculator? I thought we, could. we did this so many times already. Make one side zero, graph it on your calculator, and wherever it crosses the x axis, that's your answer. You can solve any equation, though. We're going to do the same thing with trigonometry. What about, what about the outer limit? What about the one that says less than? <laughs> I want to kill. How, how many times do we have to do? How do, how do you solve any equation? If you can solve any equation on your calculator, you can solve any inequality then. All you got to do is make one side zero. I can't believe I'm doing this. You graph this on your calculator, and what do you look for? What does less than zero mean? Lower Where is the graph below the hexahexes? How many worksheets have we done? Oh my God. Okay, there is one problem that on the quiz that's not on here, you know. I'm gonna I'm gonna show it to you now. I don't know why I forgot to put a change of basis thing over here, but here it is. Tomorrow you're gonna have to simplify something like this. Log base three of give me a number. Five. Five times log base twenty-five of twenty-seven. Okay, when you see logarithms with different bases, what do you do? Skip to the next problem. No, you change the base. Okay, now, so you can change this to base 3, you can change this to base 25, or you can change both of them to some other base. What would you do? Well, what, i tell you what I would do. I would just change everything to natural log, because that's what you're going to do in calculus. Right? So natural log 5 over natural log 3, right? The top number goes on the top, the bottom number goes on the bottom. It's easy to remember to change the base. Natural log 27 over natural log 25. Yeah, but how do I simplify this? Change the 27 to 3 cubed because you can put the power in the front. Change the 25 to 5 squared, squared so you put the power in the front. Can I cancel ln5 and ln5? Yes. yes. And ln3 and ln3? Yes. Yeah, so 3 over 2 is your answer. Who said no? <laughs> you cannot cancel LN and LN. But you can cancel LN5 with LN5. Because LN5 is a number. Natural log 5 is a number. I think. Okay. So I pretty much told you the whole quiz right there, right? Any graphing? There's no graphing tomorrow. No factoring. 
You want to divide by the, the 1,000 first, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, once you get that, you know how you have the big parentheses thing? So okay, this is what you get. You get 2 equals, we're doing A, right? So yeah. 1 plus 0 0.075 over 4 to the 4t power, right? Yeah. So when so you natural log both sides, you put the power in the front. Oh, so you can add the whole thing. Okay. Yeah, you have to. You okay. have to. Just like when you square both sides, you've got to square the whole thing, okay, right? Yeah. Yeah. You can't just add in the parts you want. Yeah. Okay, we're done. The bell should be ringing soon. Okay, what are you doing? Woohoo!